you're a content creator on this platform right now, I'm telling you right here that you have got to be nervous about what 2020 is bringing to your life and to your channel. We're now required to ask you to mark all of your videos as made for kids or not. In addition to this setting, we'll use machine learning systems to help us find content that is clearly made for kids. Videos that you mark as made for kids will be treated differently on YouTube. Some features like comments will no longer be available. Most importantly, those videos won't show personalized ads, so some creators may see a decrease in revenue. If you mark a specific video as made for kids, features like comments, personalized advertising, info cards, end screens, and more won't be available on individual videos. Your channel also won't have stories, the community tab, the notification bell, and your viewers won't be able to save to watch later or save to playlist. Keep in mind that these restrictions are to follow the law. If you don't set your content appropriately, this may result in compliance issues for you under COPPA and other laws. And if we find that you're abusing our systems and intentionally marking your videos incorrectly, this may result in consequences for your channel or videos. Starting today, to comply with COPPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and other laws, these changes will go into effect. This means from now on, any content made for kids will have certain features limited or turned off to lessen data collection and use. So it's officially been one year since YouTube's COPPA update, aka the biggest update in this website's history, which as you just heard, makes creators have to label their videos as either made for kids or not made for kids. However, according to the FTC at the beginning of 2020, if we mislabel the audience of our video, we could be fined up to $42,000. Once everyone heard this, basically everyone on YouTube started panicking because they were afraid that they were going to have to pay up to $42,000 for each COPPA mislabeling. However, they didn't consider certain factors like the fact that they could get fined up to $42,000 per violation, not $42,000 flat on every video, and that the FTC considers a number of factors in determining the appropriate amount including a company's financial condition and the impact a penalty could have on its ability to stay in business, or in YouTube terms you would get fined in proportion to how much your video made. So I made a video at the beginning of this year trying to clear that up for people because thousands of YouTubers were literally not going to upload videos anymore based on this fine. The amount that you're fined is based on the revenue that your video made. If you mislabel a video and it gets millions of views and you are some sort of big company or you're a big YouTuber with millions of subscribers, then you might get fined $42,000 at the maximum. $42,350 to be exact. If you mislabel a video and the FTC decides that your video is not good and they go after you, if your video makes like $5 of ad revenue, you are going to be fined accordingly to that. So you'd get fined like a dollar or like a few cents or something. But obviously you must be thinking that's ridiculous and the FTC won't go after people with that little ad revenue. And you're absolutely right, they won't. They'll be focusing on bigger creators. Another thing guys, this only affects monetized creators. To be monetized, you have to have a thousand subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time, and you have to successfully apply to the YouTube partnership program. If you are a partnered creator, meaning you make money off your videos with ad revenue, then you have to worry about these fines. If not, you're fine. If you have less than 1,000 subscribers, you're fine. If you have less than 4,000 hours of watch time, you're fine. Even if you have both, you're still fine as long as you don't apply to the YouTube Partnership Program. Another thing that YouTube specifically specified is if you're not sure if your content is made for kids or not, you should mark that it's not made for kids to be safe because they'll consider that to be a general audience option. The FTC is a small agency and doesn't employ nearly enough staffers to tackle every cop of failure that gets uploaded to YouTube. Despite the fact that the possibility of getting fined was still there, no one has gotten fined by the FTC yet for a mislabeled video. I made this video talking about it in the middle of last year and all the information in it still reigns true today. Has anyone been fined by COPPA yet? I don't believe so. I have yet to see a video where people say that they got fined and actually show proof. Because saying that you got fined by the FTC is just a quick way to get a lot of views by clickbaiting. So let's all try to find someone who's been fined. And if you have been fined and you're watching this video, reach out to me and we can talk about it. So far, I don't know anyone who has been fined by COPPA yet, which is a good thing. So let's hope it stays that way, like, basically forever. So at this point, everything seemed like it was going to be okay. Yeah, we have to label the audiences for our videos, but at least no one's going to get fined, right? This whole COPPA update seemed like it wasn't as bad as we all thought it was. And it wasn't, for the most part. But then the COPPA mislabeling started happening. You'll be surprised when you see what videos YouTube considers for kids. By the way, it's extremely easy to see what I'm talking about, because if you go over here and try to save this to a playlist, it'll say, this action is turned off for content made for kids. 
So you can tell that YouTube themselves have disabled this. But look at what content they consider for kids. <laughs> a Family Guy clip where they show Charlie Brown. See, this is the issue with allowing a bot to determine what is made for kids and what isn't. I know it's super hard to manually review every single video like this, but look at the mistakes these bots are making. They're considering a Family Guy clip made for kids. If you guys have seen Family Guy, even for like 20 seconds of Family Guy, you would know that Family Guy is not made for kids. I'll do you one better though. How about Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, a video that went viral like 8 years ago for being, um... Let's just say not made for kids. But well, YouTube disagrees because I can't save it to my playlist. This action is turned off for content made for kids. So apparently YouTube says this is made for kids. This video is so bad that I can't even play it without getting demonetized. But YouTube says this is made for kids because their bots have determined that, oh, there's like some cartoony figures here. It's a little bit animated. This must be made for kids. This is where the issues of COPPA are going to arise massively because this is crazy. This video is not made for kids. In fact, the video was made to make it seem like it was made for kids, but then to traumatize them later when they actually watch the video. <laughs> If you look through a lot of the YouTube is over hashtags on Twitter or YouTube is over party, you'll find some ridiculous videos that have been marked as for kids, kind of like don't hug me I'm scared, family guy, among other things. But this is when things get a little bit too far. This murder trial has been marked as for kids. I can't save this to my playlist because this action is turned off for content made for kids, and the comments are turned off as well. So essentially, YouTube's bots are so incompetent that they marked a murder trial as for kids. This is actually crazy now. Like, I don't even know what to say, because you can make a little bit of an exception if a YouTube bot makes a mistake by marking a video for kids. If it's like an animation with like a teeny bit of swearing or maybe a little bit of adult humor. But YouTube's cop update has gotten to a point where a murder trial is being marked as for kids. Some poor kid is going to run into this video if it pops into their algorithm. Even the parents of kids who think their kids are safe now because of this whole COPPA update, they're going to be running into some murder trial. It looks like YouTube is actually fixing some of the mistakes they made throughout this whole COPPA update. As I've gone over in previous videos, some very questionable content like Don't Hug Me I'm Scared was marked as made for kids by YouTube, so the comments were gone, you couldn't add them to a playlist. But as you can see with Don't Hug Me I'm Scared right now, the playlist option is available, the comments are available, so this video has not been marked as made for kids anymore. Now less kids will find this video, think it's an episode of Sesame Street, and get traumatized. Another very adult video that got marked as made for kids was Cupcakes HD. As you can see, playlist option is there and all the comments are available. Actually, the top comment right here says, remember when YouTube marked this for kids? Dang, their system sucks. Yeah, even people in the comments are acknowledging that YouTube's system is completely failing in terms of auto-labeling videos. However, there are still a lot of videos that are marked as made for kids which shouldn't be, such as the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer, which as I've discussed in the past has some adult jokes in it, and this Family Guy clip where Peter Griffin beats the crap out of a child. So the system is obviously not perfect yet, and they're still making some very clear mistakes. It's a slow process, but at least some of these videos are getting fixed. Obviously, COPPA is still a huge problem in terms of the YouTube algorithm. I'll go over this in a separate video, but one thing that you need to notice about all the videos I pointed out is that they're all animated content. So it's pretty obvious to see that most animated content on this website is prone to being marked as made for kids, which makes animated content on YouTube as a whole very vulnerable to demonetization and limiting of comments and stuff like that. So a while back I made a video about a YouTube series called Scientifically Accurate being marked as made for kids. It basically just takes a bunch of kids shows or movies and makes them scientifically accurate, which typically involves a lot of violence swearing and it's basically just a funny type of parody. And like the vast majority of the series got marked as made for kids. But after checking now, it seems like YouTube has fixed most of their mistakes. As you can see for this video, the playlist option is enabled and all the comments are enabled. Same thing with this Pokemon video, all the comments are enabled and it's not marked as made for kids. Same thing with the Spider-Man one, you get the idea. They all used to be marked as made for kids, but they aren't anymore. So honestly, I am going to have to give YouTube props. At least they are fixing their mistakes, at least they are taking a look at some of the videos they've marked as made for kids and realize, yeah, I think we made a mistake. I mean, they did the same thing with the Spongebob anime video that I talked about in my last video. So good on YouTube for fixing some of their mistakes, because the last thing I would want kids to see is something like this. But still, I do have to mention that some of these videos are still marked as made for kids. As you can see, it says this action is turned off for content made for kids, and the comments are turned off. But what's interesting about this specific video is there used to be a Try YouTube Kids app advertisement here, and that has now since disappeared, so I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean. But still, the problem is that this video is being marked as made for kids, and there is still some kid-friendly stuff that's being recommended in the sidebar, like Fairly Odd Parents and Spongebob. So yeah, according to YouTube's own words, this video is more likely to be recommended to children than other videos, since it's marked as made for kids.
So when it comes to the Kids Act, I haven't heard anything about it recently, and all of the traction and backlash that I got on Twitter has all died down, so I'm not really sure how the progress on the Kids Act is going, I don't know if the law has been rejected or whatever. But with the way that the law is written, I would hope that it doesn't get passed because it just seems like COPPA 2.0. But even worse, as it would affect the entire website, it would get rid of likes and dislikes across the entire website, as well as on other platforms. But one silver lining with COPPA is YouTube Kids and the fact that kids actually can't see adult videos on YouTube Kids, even if they've been marked as made for kids. As I've talked about in this documentary and in some videos I'm about to show, there were many adult videos that were getting marked as made for kids, negligibly by YouTube's automated system, of course, but they were still not visible on YouTube Kids despite being marked as made for kids. Alright, so obviously since January, a bunch of inappropriate videos have been getting marked as made for kids like this one. As you can see, the comments are turned off and it says this action is turned off for content made for kids. I won't show the actual thing, but if you look at the preview, you can see that it shows a bunch of naked people. Clips from an adult show called The Boondocks are also marked as made for kids. Something called Violence for the Sake of Violence, and you can literally see a bunch of blood there. Or even something like this, which I won't show for too long. But I actually want to see if these videos are visible in the YouTube Kids app. Maybe it's different on the phone, maybe you guys can let me know by checking it out yourself. But I'll try the website version, so I'm going to say I'm a kid, and it's going to say ask a parent to set up YouTube Kids. So I'm going to say I'm a parent, go through all this, I was born in 1928 or something, I don't know. We're going to we're gonna skip this. Um, no, I don't want to add that account. So we're just going to say I agree, whatever, whatever. So this is where it might be different. So I'll probably show all three of the results, but right now we'll start with the youngest age. So let's go to preschool. Whatever, it'll say content recommended. So do you want to turn search off or on? We want it on. So now it's going to give us a tour or whatever, but I'm just going to try to search up those videos that we've seen. So you would think that since these videos are marked as made for kids, you would see them on the YouTube Kids app. But if I search up the exact title of this video, it actually won't show up. Even if I were to copy and paste the link of it like this, it still won't show up. Let's try the boondocks clip. So if we go over here, try to search this up, boom. All right, we'll do another one, violence for the sake of violence, try to search it up. We do get three videos on this search, but it wasn't the video that we were looking for. And these all look like pretty appropriate kids videos for me. Let's go look at the racism from Teen Titans thing. You know, it has a buzzword in it that'll usually get you demonetized. Also not here. So obviously I'm very happy that the kids can't access those videos by searching them up or whatever, but then I'm trying to understand what the point is of marking these videos as made for kids. Obviously I've already said this a million times, but YouTube has already told us that they mark videos without an audience setting as made for kids by default. And we've all agreed that that's dumb of them and they shouldn't be doing that, but those videos don't seem to show up on the YouTube Kids app anyways. So this is actually a very good thing. The kids that go on the YouTube Kids app shouldn't be able to see these inappropriate videos that are getting falsely marked as made for kids. So I'm going to try it again for both of these options, but I'm only going to search up one video to save up time. So we'll search up the boondocks clip, not all women are hoes, and we get a video of ways to say you're welcome. So yeah, I'm very glad these videos aren't showing up on YouTube Kids, but wow, the search results that you get are very inaccurate. <laughs> One more time, we'll try it for kids that are ages 8 to 12, and we'll see if we can find those videos. So, we'll look up the big mouth clip over here, so copy and paste that, and let's see what we get. Nothing. So yeah, like I said, it's a good thing that the kids can't actually find these videos on the YouTube Kids app, but the problem is they could still find them on the actual YouTube website because obviously not everyone uses the YouTube Kids app. So if you do have kids and you're concerned about them finding inappropriate videos, you should definitely be on the YouTube Kids app.